there are seven types of people who have the potential to ruin your life. These individuals, with their toxic behavior, can disrupt the delicate balance of your well-being. Whether through relentless negativity, emotional drain, manipulation, or constant pessimism, they cast a shadow on your daily experiences. Their presence can hinder personal growth, distort your sense of self, and turn positive interactions into sources of stress and frustration. Buddhist philosophy, with its profound insights into the nature of the mind and human interactions, teaches us how to find happiness and navigate our relationships through the dodgy existence of these toxic people. The Buddha has shown us the path within which lies the wisdom to recognize and respond to the subtle energies that can hinder our journey towards enlightenment. So let us explore the seven types of people you should always remain away from. One, the constant critic. The constant critic is a type of an individual who habitually engages in finding fault, offering negative feedback, and rarely acknowledging positive aspects. This type of person tends to have a pessimistic outlook, consistently focusing on what's wrong rather than what's right. This behavior is in stark contrast to the teachings of the Buddha. Buddhism encourages right speech, which involves abstaining from harmful discourse, including harsh criticism. But the constant critics violate this principle by consistently engaging in negative speech. Avoiding such individuals aligns with the Buddhist path of cultivating wholesome communication. Dealing with a constant critic involves setting boundaries, fostering open communication, and encouraging a more balanced perspective. 2. The Manipulator The manipulators employ cunning tactics to control and influence others for their own benefit. They are skilled at using subtle or overt methods to shape the thoughts, emotions and behaviors of those around them. They are characterized by lack of transparency, emotional manipulation, self-centered priorities and exploitation of trust. Manipulators often act with harmful intentions, seeking personal gain at the expense of others. The Buddha emphasized right intention and right action. Avoiding such individuals aligns with the Buddhist path of ethical conduct and non-harming. Dealing with a manipulator requires a combination of awareness, assertiveness, and setting clear boundaries. Recognizing the tactics used by manipulators and maintaining open communication can help mitigate their influence. Additionally, fostering a sense of empowerment and self-confidence can make individuals less susceptible to manipulation. 3. The Chronic Complainer The chronic complainer is an archetype representing individuals who consistently focus on problems and difficulties, often without actively seeking solutions. These individuals have a persistent and habitual tendency to express dissatisfaction, which can impact their own well-being and the atmosphere of those around them. Chronic complaining fosters a negative mindset, hindering one's ability to see the inherent impermanence of situations. Buddhism teaches the cultivation of contentment and mindfulness. Avoiding chronic complainers aligns with maintaining a positive and mindful outlook. Dealing with a chronic complainer involves a delicate balance of empathy and encouragement for a more positive mindset. Encouraging them to explore potential solutions or reframing their perspective on situations can be helpful. 4. The Jealous Competitor This type represents individuals who view life as a constant competition and harbor feelings of envy toward others' success or accomplishments. This type of person may engage in competitive behaviors driven by a desire to outshine others rather than celebrating collective achievements. Buddhism encourages the practice of mudita, which is sympathetic joy or rejoicing in others' success. Jealous competitors driven by envy go against this teaching. Avoiding individuals with a strong sense of rivalry aligns with fostering a more compassionate and supportive community. Encouraging a mindset that celebrates collective achievements rather than viewing success as a zero-sum game can help shift the dynamics in a more positive direction. 5. The Emotional Blackmailer The emotional blackmailer 
is a type representing individuals who use emotional manipulation to control and influence others. This manipulation often involves leveraging emotions such as guilt, fear, or sympathy to achieve their own desires or objectives. Emotional blackmail relies on unwholesome mental states like greed, hatred, and delusion. Buddhism teaches the development of mindfulness and insight into these mental states. Avoiding emotional blackmail as aligns with maintaining emotional balance and clarity. Dealing with an emotional blackmailer involves setting clear boundaries, recognizing manipulative tactics, and fostering a sense of assertiveness and self-worth. 6. The Perpetual Victim People with this mindset consistently see themselves as helpless or oppressed, often attributing their problems to external factors beyond their control. This mindset can have a significant impact on their own well-being and the dynamics of their relationships. Buddhism emphasizes personal responsibility and the understanding of karma. The perpetual victim often fails to take responsibility for their own actions. While compassion is encouraged, enabling victim mentality can hinder personal growth. Dealing with a perpetual victim involves a delicate balance of empathy and encouragement for personal growth. Encouraging a mindset of self-empowerment and accountability while providing support in a constructive manner is crucial. 7. The Energy Vampire The energy vampire is an archetype representing individuals who have a draining effect on others, consuming their emotional and mental energy. This type of person often exhibits behaviors that leave those around them feeling exhausted or depleted. Buddhism emphasizes cultivating positive mental states. Energy vampires disrupt this by spreading negativity and draining others' energy. Recognizing the impact on your own well-being, Buddhist teachings would encourage setting boundaries with such individuals to protect your inner peace. In the intricate dance of human connections, avoiding certain individuals becomes an act of self-preservation and a commitment to nurturing our own well-being. Steering clear of these negative people is not about closing ourselves off, but rather about creating space for positivity, growth, and genuine connections. As we navigate the complex web of relationships, let us be mindful of the energy we invest, choosing to surround ourselves with those who uplift inspire and contribute to the flourishing of our shared journey.